Welcome back to MUFC MPB and the news today. It is your boy Kempi and today we have a lot to update you on. The potential transfer on Aaron Anselminio, the young Argentine centre-back from Boca Juniors. The updates on Tom Malassia and Harry Maguire and a potential transfer of Mason Greenwood to Atletico Madrid. So let's get right into things. First of all, there has been many links in the last few days around Aaron Anselminio, the 18-year-old from Boca Juniors. And this story from Julio Pavoni and TYC Sports says Manchester United intend to sign Boca Juniors centre-back Aaron Anselminio and then loan him out. The player had a release clause of around £17.2 million, which is an absolute bargain and something which I'm very excited about with Ineos coming in and with the potential new sporting directors and seeing how things are going to work at Manchester United in the future. I mentioned last week the signing of Oscar Zambrano, something which would be very, very clever. A bit like a Moises Caicedo, a young Ecuadorian. This seems like something we should be doing. Like we signed Alessandro Martinez from Ajax. They found him in Argentina first before he made it big. Are we finally going to be a club that finds these players before they get big? A bit like we did with Alejandro Ganacho taking him off Atletico Madrid's hands. Obviously, this is an expensive signing of £17.2 million, but it's not the first time we'll spend big money on a wonder kid like Hannibal Medjbri from AC Monaco from AS Monaco was around £9 million and that was a good five, six years ago. So someone like Anselminio looks very exciting. Now there isn't a lot around him on the you know internet. There's He's a very young player with not a lot of playing experience. But what I can see from doing my research on Ole Mouth, uh, which has been translated thankfully via uh, Wikipedia, his style of play is a towering centre-back which clears everything head on and almost always prevails in one-on-one -on -one situations. From other research I've done, he looks like a very quick centre-back which is brilliant. He seems to have fantastic pace. And again, his heading and actual defensive attributes seem very good. He seems very switched on and down to earth from what I've seen as well. I've checked him out on Instagram and bits like that and sort of checked his sort of personality. He looks like a very good lad and looks obviously has got very high potential and he's highly thought about Boca Juniors. He has played just 324 minutes of football, six games, two yellow cards. I love that passion. I think Lissandra Martinez and him would go very well together at one game in the Copa Argentina as well for Boca Juniors with 90 minutes. So overall, seven performances. It's not a lot to go on. We can't really say how this guy's career is going to pan out. It's so early on. But the fact we've got scouts watching an 18-year-old centre-back in Argentina is very good news. It's just been too long since we've done that. It's been a very sort of different transfer approach already with Ineos. And we're seeing the players we're linked to. It's very exciting. Someone completely different, which isn't on every single club's radar. And a potentially a wonder kid, a £17 million. We spent 80 on Harry Maguire. So this guy at £17 million could be an absolute bargain. You never know. He's obviously Argentinian. They normally move over to Spain. If we get him to England early, he might end up at Real Madrid in 10 years' time. But if he gives us all to United until he's 28, I'm sure we'll take that and we'll take the 80 million for him as well in that down the line. But right now, a very clever piece of business. Of course, this isn't the only article linking us to him. We've got um, Fede Jelic uh, from Radio Mitra CBA. As they Manchester United are in talks with the agent of Boca Juniors centre-back Aaron Anselminio. Now, I don't think this is going to be a difficult transfer to get across. I think it's going to be quite easy, to be honest. A sort of release clause of £17 million, and we're saying to him, we're going to be loaning you out as well. So I think there has been reports in the last sort of few days slash hours that um, he actually wants to stay at Boca Juniors, but I think it's definitely a chance we could get that release clause met and send him back to Boca Juniors for two years on loan, and he can you know continue his trade over there rather than coming to Europe too quickly. If that's what he wants to do, I'm sure United would be happy to do something like that, and that makes him happy as well, which is obviously going to be massively important as a young 18 year old moving from Argentina I think we often forget about the mental side of football and how difficult it is for a youngster at 18 years of age to move across the world maybe it's something good we get him we make that transfer locked in we have complete control of his future but for the next couple of years while he learns that footballing trade while he just sort of develops into a young man a young adult that would be fantastic if he could stay over there as well if that's what he wants and the final story on him is from Julio Pavoni via Planet A Boca is that Manchester United are determined to sign Boca Juniors centre-back Aaron Anselminio. A United's intention is to lock by, by him and loan him back to another team in Europe to adapt. And obviously that is what I have just sort of spoken about. I think the best thing if he wants to stay in Argentina is still to get that release clause met, still have him as our player and be controlling his sort of career. But loan him back to Boca Juniors, allow him to carry on his career over there, but still bring him to United and have him on our books. I think that's the best thing for it. And that's really it as all we can say on Aaron Anselminio. There's not a lot we know about him. Just seven professional games in his career just 18 years of age standing at around six foot three looks like a very good physical center back with good defensive attributes but what do we really know about him not a lot hopefully he's going to be a good sign and if he does come in
Someone else we had massive high hopes for when he joined was Tyrell Malassia. And there has been a report today, sort of multiple reports, but this one especially from C. Mon Zafeli uh, has been sort of reporting that Tyrell Malassia is not only struggling physically, but also mentally. So I'm sure everyone watching this and every single Match United fan wishes the best for Tyrell Malassia in a, whatever it is. Again, sort of touching on that young player moving to a big club, a bit like Ansel Minio. It's always hard, and I think Malassia maybe has maybe struggled with that. We don't really know what these mental problems are, but uh, obviously obviously, we, we hope Malassia as well, and I hope personally he absolutely smashes it in his career. I hope it's at Manchester United, but over the end of the day, as a human, you want him to go ahead and uh, sort of fix himself and uh, make sure he's happy as well. And if it's leaving Manchester United due to game time or just hasn't settled into the area, I'm sure we can make something work because uh, the most important thing here is the person. Actually have Malassia as a person, be okay, be well is certainly the best thing. But obviously a report that we have to touch on. Hopefully he can fix things physically and mentally and he can go on to be a Manchester United left back. I think that's what we all hope. We know he's got the potential. We know he's got the ability. I said it sort of last week as well with Malassia. Um, it's a real big shame because he started to show that real passion and that what, it, what it's like to play for Manchester United you see him flying into challenges he's very good technically on the ball I sort of mentioned if he's going to bulk up physically and become a lot bigger of a player because he is only small but if he can get stronger more adapted to the Premier League in that way that'll be fantastic but of course here what we've got to touch on and what we've got to emphasise is that Malassia fixes things himself in his personal life and his mental health because that is the most important thing at the end of the day he is a human and in terms of fixing injuries etc is this story about Harry Maguire um, he has left the England camp and has been sent for a scan or potential injury which isn't ideal is it because um he's he seems to be always injured now the good news is Lissandro Martinez is away on international duty with Argentina which is a bit weird because he's not played for United in a few weeks but he managed to get the call up there so he is obviously fit which means sort of we'll trade Maguire out and uh, Martinez back in but obviously Maguire's first game back was that game against Liverpool in the FA Cup where he was absolutely influential being that big man as a striker we've seen one of the memes of the formations he wasn't playing centre back he was a striker in that game and it was absolutely influential in us getting that victory hopefully he doesn't is, isn't injured and the injury isn't too bad but it is a big shame he seems to be getting more and more of these injury issues I think he's just ticked over 30 as well so maybe his body is sort of you know coming to the end of his prime footballing career we have got to think Harry Maguire hasn't been at United his whole career but he has had a very long career he come through as a wonder uh, sort of a youngster I believe from Sheffield United uh, moved to Hull and then Leicester so he's played lots of games probably down in the championship and then up into the Premier League as well and obviously now at Manchester United he was a captain for a couple of years has played many games here as well um, and obviously as the England centre back so maybe his body is you know reaching its end 30 years of age I'm not saying he's never going to play again but maybe that consistency which we maybe once thought about Harry Maguire was one of his best things was that he was never injured uh, what was it one of the best things about him something around the lines of fitness is the best attribute for him but I can't remember the exact saying I used to say uh, but he was never injured and it was brilliant because he was always a shoe into playing a centre back a bit like Bruno Fernandes in that cam role you'd bet your money that he would not be injured because because they never seem to get injured. It was the same for Harry Maguire for a very long period of time. But in the last 18 months, that has so declined. And if this is another injury, another setback, that'll be now probably three, I believe, injuries this season, which is a little bit gutting, but uh, it is what it is. And that is obviously by the Sun as well. Um, so a bit of a shame there of Harry Maguire. And the final story to touch on is that of Mason Greenwood. Uh, we were apparently told Atletico Madrid, this is according to Mundo Deportivo, Manchester United have told Atletico Madrid that it will cost them £50 million to sign Mason Greenwood this summer and Atletico Madrid believe this price is outrageous I personally don't think it's that bad if he's actually gone to Spain and he's absolutely smashed it which based on the sort of the videos we see and the stats we see he looks like he's doing brilliant over there he is still a what 23 year old young winger who um I, I mean he was brilliant in United before obviously the, the stories happened um and obviously he's gone to Getafe to revive his career it looks like that's exactly what he's doing and a 50 million pounds for a young player like that who if we trigger the extension will have two years left on this deal not 12 months 50 million pound really isn't that bad and I think um, obviously in Spain things are going well for him it'll be great for him to stay in Spain if it's with a bigger club like Atletico Madrid as well that's quite exciting for him 50 million pounds is great for us as well because obviously as a uh, player coming through the youth academy that means with FFP we could put all that money towards profit rather than having sort of a player who's signed for 20 million selling him for 50 we only get 30 million pounds of profit whereas we can put that 50 million directly back into our FFP which is fantastic so if we do sell Greenwood 50 million this summer very good 
business for us. And I think it's good for him as well to go ahead and stay in Spain. There's also been a lot of links to him in Italy. Um, there's Barcelona involved. There's lots of clubs which are interested. And especially if all of them clubs are interested, 50 million pounds, that really isn't that bad for, uh, you know, a player of his caliber that is linked to all them big teams 50 million quid is actually very, very good. Uh, just quickly to go back for everything then, Aaron and Salaminio are 18 years of age. Um, Manchester United intend to bring him in uh, 18 years of age and then loan him out. The player's release clause of around £17.2 million from Julia Pavoni and TYC Sports. Very exciting young prospect that we all hope comes to Manchester United and does well. If not, goes on to have a fantastic career. Good luck to Aaron and Salaminio. Hopefully he can come in. Uh, from Fede Jelic and Radio Mitra CBA, Manchester United are in talks with the agent of Bogdanian centre-back Aaron Anselminio and as I have mentioned this should be quite an easy transaction with Manchester United he's an 18 year old player in Argentina 17.2 million pounds as a release clause offer him a little bit of money if he wants to stay in Boca Juniors let him stay there alone for a couple of years if not bring him to the club send him out alone in Europe we could even you know potentially use that deal with Nice now obviously Jim Ratcliffe and use that I believe there's a club we're also looking to acquire in one of the smaller European leagues as well which could be pivotal for us sending out these players players coming in from abroad getting them over there could be absolutely brilliant um, and then I'll see another one here from Julia Pavoni via Planet Boca Manchester United are determined to sign Boca Junior centre-back Aaron Anselminio United's intention is to buy him and loan him to another team in Europe to adapt this all also could be just a big story from Boca Juniors to rise his price and get people interested because he has only played seven games he is only 18 years of age and he has got a fairly realistic release clause it could all be a big facade for Boca Juniors to go ahead and get that 17 million pounds for him if they don't quite think he's at that level but they can build some hype up around him if there has been links to Manchester United it could all be just a big facade to get some more money for him we've seen our name used in that capacity many many times hopefully that is not the case uh, touching on Toro Malassia he is apparently struggling with physical and mental problems obviously this is from C Moffazelli we obviously hope Malassia does get better physically and mentally we want to see him back in that United shirt ASAP Harry Maguire has been sent home from the England camp and sent for a scan from a potential injury that is from the Sun Again, of course, we hope Harry Maguire does not have a big injury. If he does, I hope it's only small and we can fix it. And he can be back in contention for this run into the season because we do need him for this run in. We have obviously got the FA Cup semi final. We've obviously got many games left in the league as well. We're going to need a full strength squad if we are to make a charge for the Champions League. So, certainly, getting Maguire back would be a good thing. And finally, Manchester United have told Atletico Madrid, uh, Atletico Madrid that it will cost them £50 million to sign Mason Greenwood this summer. Atletico believe the price is outrageous, and that's from Mundo Deportivo. Thank you for watching the news on this wonderful Monday afternoon. I hope you guys are all doing well. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel. If you do like Football Manager and you do enjoy the content I produce over here on MUFCPB, I'm sure you'd enjoy me waffling about rebuilds on FM as well. I've got many Manchester United videos. If you do want to check them out, we many appreciated. That'll be down in the description down below. Make sure you check them out on Twitter as well. Every single piece of Manchester United news that you can potentially think about is all going to be over there. So you can get all your news in one place. Twitter, and YouTube but obviously this week some exciting videos coming out so make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you for watching as usual and I'll speak to you next time